Hi, this is Ali Shan now. I received a number of emails asking me, can you make a video on how to fly an RC helicopter? And then I received a few more emails asking me, can you tell us what is the best RC helicopter for beginners, someone who just studying with RC helicopters? Well, I had replied those emails, but right now we have a beautiful thing which actually answers all these questions. And here it is. This is eSky's newest helicopter, a training helicopter, perfect and very suitable flying machine for all those learners or beginners who just want to begin with RC helicopter flying. This is Honeybee 2, right here in my hands. Let's see what comes inside this box. Previously I have posted some videos of Honeybee King 3 and Bell CPV2. Those are not beginner helicopters. Well, you can still start with those helicopters but they are not for beginners. This is the thing which actually says on the box a training helicopter for beginners. First thing that we find in the box on top of everything is the eSky CD which actually comes with a simulator for you to practice. Ta-da! Looky looky. A beautiful colorful helicopter right here. Hmm. This is a fixed pitch main rotor blade helicopter. This means uh, you can't actually control the blade pitch when you're flying the helicopter. However, you can control ascending and descending of the helicopter by increasing the throttle or decreasing the throttle. Uh, that is main blade rotation speed. Depending on that, helicopter will climb or descend. Yeah. For the tail rotor, we have a small motor which is controlled by a built-in gyro inside a given here in the receiver thing well digging in the box we have a wall outlet putting it here a e sky lithium polymer balance charger we have a cable to connect the charger to car battery if you want to charge the batteries outside here we have a LiPoly 11.1 volt 800mAh eSky lithium polymer battery. We have been given with some uh, sticky double sided tape and T zips plus a small hex wrench. <coughs> a four channel eSky radio. We'll talk about what these controls do for the beginners. A flight simulator cable, a USB that can be connected to your radio and then you can install the program and practice flying helicopters. And the best thing I like about it, it comes with 8 ASI batteries as well for your radio. Well, that's pretty much everything that you actually need in order to fly this helicopter and that is why on box it says 100% ready to fly. Well, putting the box down. <clears throat> Alright, coming in, coming back to the helicopter. First thing, it's beginner helicopter. It says on the box. The function of this helicopter is very simple. I like the color scheme on the canopy here. Beautiful red mixed with a uh, splash of yellow color. It's very easy to uh, take off the canopy. Just pull from here. The motor sits right here, powering up the gear and the main router. Um, three servo system, which is real effective in controlling, making helicopter easy to control and very balanced. Plus, we have fixed pitch main rotor blades. They're already balanced, so you don't have to worry about this. We have a box shape receiver, plus everything that needs to be controlled, tail rotor and main rotor or speed, everything that needs to be controlled is given here in this boxy thing. Uh, <clears throat> the channel connections are here, and if you want to increase or decrease the gyro gain rate, you have been given small switches here. Just use a small screwdriver that fits in there 
and here this one is your gyro gain you can increase or decrease the gyro gain why do you have to increase or decrease the gyro gain very simple when you're flying the helicopter and if the tail is wagging you need to decrease the gyro gain if you if it if the tail is very soft and it's very difficult to control on yaw then you can increase the gyro gain and make sure the tail doesn't wiggle.